Hello everybody, welcome back to Terraria. Last episode, we took out Slime King, we got the Flaming Great Sword. I think it's what it's called. Fiery Great Sword. Sluggish, yeah, I remember that now. And we got a full set. There we go again, Borderlands again, here we go. Alright, full set of Molten Armor. Look at this defense. Maddening guys, maddening. So I think I'm gonna go underground for a bit and see if we can find anything and I'm gonna try to take on some bosses. Probably take on Cthulhu and maybe the Eater of Worlds. So scary guys. I think we can handle it, what do you think? Let me put some of this stuff away, man. I just got random stuff on it. So uh accessories. Yo, oh, I need to put paint somewhere. I might hold this on me. Furniture will be blocks. This will be a block type. This is a potion type. So let's go to potions. I don't think I need any potions when I fight Cthulhu and the Eater of Worlds. I think I'm kind of OP right now. Maybe. About to find out. Man, I need like a... a what about this this chest right here? Let's put paintings in here for now. We'll sort this stuff out later. I'm gonna save the eye. Yeah. Quick stack. I got a lot of money already. <clears throat> Voice crack every time I start an episode, guys. It's gonna become a thing. Alright. Well, I got this, so that's gonna help. And... Where did I put those hearts? There they are. Should I have enough to have a full set plus one extra. You can have these are material you can make uh, with chains. You can make a heart lantern, which you can hang up on uh, like the ceilings and whatnot, and it gives you a health regen. So let's go underground. Let's see if we can find anything. I'm gonna kind of go deep don't find the good stuff until you go deep very deep been at mushroom biome I'm trying to go somewhere where I haven't been too much like down in this uber dark area here yeah, let's try here I like this game I really do I've been playing this game for so many years now since it came since it came out, and I still continue playing it. It's just one of those kind of games. And I'm thinking about after I complete this. I think I mentioned it before. After I complete Terraria, I'm gonna put on a do a let's play of. Uh, Man, what is the name of that game? I just thought of it. I'm just one of those kind of people that forget everything you're trying to say. I did that in my last episode of Borderlands too. Starbound, that's it, Starbound. See, I, I uh, helped kickstart that game. Or whatever they did. GoFundMe or whatever they did. I can't remember, it's been a while now. But, yeah, I... Uh, well, how much did I spend on that? $40, I think it was? And I got the little penguin that if you put on your forums, you can uh, have a little penguin emote. I haven't been on that forums in so long. At least a couple of years. It's an okay game. It's not quite up to the, uh, like, Terraria, of course, but it's pretty fun. I like it. It seems like I can, uh, when you build in... Starbound, your uh, buildings can be a little bit more detailed. It takes a bit more work in uh, Terraria to do that. Even though I'm like, this is coming from a guy that literally built his uh, house into like some rectangle, you know. Smother slime, you can't, you just have no, no. You're messing with the boss now. You're messing with the boss. Well, until I go into hard mode, then I'll be like, Oh, I'm so weak again. Uh, everything kills me in like one hit. 
Oh, sorry about it. Look at all the skeletons down there, man. There's a lot of stuff down there. I've never used the dyes in this game to, like, make my own dyes or anything. I always just get the strange plants. I need to do the uh, floating islands. That's what I need to do. Oop, we found a house. I'm moving in. Try to stop me. I love playing Borderlands, and I like my uh, Let's Play of it. For sure. That's one of my favorite games as well, the Borderlands series. But I always look forward to playing this. I even want to play, uh, like, I've been thinking about it pretty hard, is that I'm doing a Let's Play, you know, I'm, you know, I, I, I am playing the game. Man, another one? Oh. But it's like, I want to start a new character just to be like, I can play this off camera just because I want to play the game. Do you, do, you, uh, do any of you guys have that feeling too about Terraria? That if you are a YouTuber or, or not, you just always like starting another character just because you beat it once and you just want to continue another one just because it'll be a different world and you don't know what you're going to find. Even though you pretty much had everything in this game and my goodness this hole is deep. Wow, I just said that. Do not take that out of context, please. <laughs> That was, that was pretty bad of me. Launch. Oh, there's a pressure pad right there. I barely hit it. Could be a spike trap or one of those dark traps. Oh, I'm having troubles. Need to be saved. It's the water that's messing me up. Man, Shelly, you can't. Oh, whoa, thanks, water. There's a trap right here. See that? But since I got over 200 health, that means... Cthulhu will spawn himself or herself. That's a question of the ages. Okay, uh, no, enough with the funnies, if you call it funnies. Oh, I see something. Is that diamonds? Come on, I need some light, man. Give me some light. Oh, sapphires. Huh, I'll take it anyways. Whatever. Yeah, I have not been collecting any of this stuff at all. We're not going to stay underground too long because I want to do some boss fighting. We are finally ready for it. Ooh, lava layer. And I filled up with water down here. Get me a bunch of... Wait, a heart container? What is going on? I'm looking for a... Um, I would like to have the Hermes boots. That would be nice. And very handy. I need a floating island so I can get me a horseshoe. Already got the skull, that means I just... I need the shield, but you don't get the shield until you go to the dungeon. Whoa, no. Those guys do massive damage. Hop lights. They don't hop, and they are not light. Die! Look at that, 20 damage still with molten armor. What is up with that, guys? These guys are dangerous. Go ahead and pick up all this ub. Oh my, my air. That'll be really funny. Yeah, funny if they. Uh, <clears throat> what is up with the voice cracks? <clears throat> but it'll be funny if they uh, added the Sonic the Hedgehog drowning meme, or the uh, meme. It is nowadays. But uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog drowning music. Now light a fire under somebody's butt to get them going. I gotta save myself. Because I was a kid, that was a scary sound when you're in the water. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that. And I'm from the old Sonic days, you know. Original Sonic 1 on Sega Genesis. Or Sega Mega Drive if you're in, the, you know, Europe. Alright. Uh, uh, 400 health. Molten armor before I even kill any of the bigger bosses. Hey, don't waste those, man. Even though you find millions of them. That's a lot of obsidian down you guys. A lot of the ub. Jump out. No. Is that enough to breathe? Yes. That tiny little pocket of water. Let's put a torch right there. Ooh. I hope we can find 
some more accessories. I haven't been really lucky with accessories in this uh, this world, gin so far. I found like multiples of the same thing, like the darn book. I don't mind that book at the very beginning because it helps you out. It saves you time and it gets you rope early on. You know, it's not hard to get rope. I guess I'm gonna have maybe almost 300 after I'm picking up all this. Watch should be like 500 and be like, whoa guys, whoa. No, no, no. This little hole of water is hard to, to get into. Some jars down there. And a mama slam. That's big, big mama right there. I hear another Shelly. And Shelly, for some reason, does not like dropping that yo-yo. That, that has a chance of dropping. It's not going to be any good now. Not unless you want to try to collect at least one of every item. I might do that. Make like a big... Man, just throwing glow sticks left and right. That's what happens when you use the shift key too much, I guess. Oh man, we got a party upstairs. I'm so excited. Shelly! Set you on fire, Shelly. Come here. Drop your yo-yo and it dropped your yo, yo It was the rally. Oh, jeez. Boulder. Did not see that in time. Am I inventory that full already? Really? What happened, man? Oh, yep, I knew it. Almost 300, guys. I was right. Yeah. I got the magic touch. Put down that. Uh, let's throw these real quick. Stole them on the ground, man. Alright, deposit all. Let's see what this rally. Okay, 16. Yeah, definitely weak. And it's a normal, too. Man. But I was right, guys. Can I get some likes for almost guessing that? Come on, guys. You know you want to give some likes. Show some love. Well, I'm back at the, uh... The hello Vator. I don't know if I want to make the, um... I haven't even found a cloud in a bottle either. But I don't know if I want to make the uh, Ivy Whip. It's one of my favorite whips at the beginning. Well, where's the cloud in the bottle? I was like, usually you get that pretty early. I said my luck for uh, accessories has been pretty poor. But I did get lucky with the Enchanted Blade, which is no longer being used. I'll put it in a plaque to memorialize the, the awesomeness of finding it so early. Which really helped me out. But if, if, if you ever get the Ar Arcalis, it's uh, even more luck. Because I don't think I've ever gotten that on, in the wild before. I've gotten it before in a mod. Because I played this with mod packs here and there. To spice things up. And uh, there's a mod in it that like, I can't remember the name of it. It's been a while. That allows you to build the Arcalis or every uh, weapon in the game. That don't sound very fun. It's one of those, uh... Whoa, whoa. Didn't even see this hole here, guys. <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, that's so bad. More like that's what he said. I already searched that place, too. You see a lava pool and you know you're not going to be able to jump it. He's a uh, grappling hook, so it will be a lifesaver. What is this? This is a dead body? Oh, nice. No, a house right here. I searched this place, but I did not go up. So many, so many webs. Ah, another painting. Nice. I always try to collect all the paintings. And that's kind of impossible in one playthrough. Because uh, you don't get all the painting spawns. Another one. Okay. Cloud in a bottle. Hermes boots, maybe. I would really enjoy that. 
So my world so far is one destroyed ocean that spawned weirdly. That's even a word. Whoa, look at all these dudes down here. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. They were having a party down there waiting for me. And I was like, no, I don't want to join this party. I had other obligations, guys. Can't join the party of these dudes. Can you shoot that fireball? Huh, oh, mouse. Can't use it as bait, though. You just put it in glass container. Take up large amount of space. I'm almost to hell already again. Yep, there's hell right down there. Oh, man, this is dangerous. Very dangerous. And a worm. Yay. Ow. You better not knock me into the fire there, man. Just don't do it. Oh, living it dangerously, guys. Woo! Woo! Oh, I touched the lava. Here we go. And again. You. Yeah. And I'm in the lava. You. Yeah. Wow, this is riveting let's play here, guys. I live dangerously. That's what I do. Go down. Yeah. Safe spot. And still touch the lava. Wow. Well, I sense a death coming in my future. Break this first. Is that an explosive pack right there? Yeah. You never know, you might have a use for that later. Want to mine out a big chunk of land. But those explosives you can't use except with a detonator or some kind of switch. Oh, almost got falling damage there. Eh. Eh. Scary with you have so little health and yet you're like, I'm just gonna go around all these uh all this lava pools. Jump about crazily, you know. Alright, we got another house. And we're gonna get a another band of regeneration. And uh, oh, they gave me that painting. I didn't even break it, it just gave it to me. I'll take this mushroom, why not? This anvil. There's two anvils in this house, why? Band of regeneration, probably. I want the Hermes boots. Ow. Yeah, I'm too close to hell. Yeah. This game, guys, this game. It's like we gave you something good at the beginning. You're not going to get anything else except the same things over and over again. Yeah. Uh, quick stack. Deposit all. And really fill up the piggy bank real fast. I got a obsidian skin potion. I want a, a gravity potion. That's I, I like using those for doing the uh, looking for sky islands. I finally got the rally. A little, a little too late though. How many of those shellies have I killed? You know, a mighty few. Any more houses over here? You know, cloud in the bottle would be nice. Maybe some Hermes boots so I can make the uh, lightning boots and whatnot later on because I got all the other parts for the most part. Parts, right. sometimes these uh, marble biomes have this house in them, but not all the time. Whoa, whoa, dude, and sketchy as heck. Sketchy, whoa, be careful of these things because they do mess you up when you're using your, your grappling hook there. Climb, go, save yourself. Yeah, I'm not safe in this game. So especially when I get like I get to a certain point, I just start 
doing stuff like you're saying now, just climbing everywhere, dipping myself into lava, you know. It's that adrenaline rush. So dark. Oh, another uh dark vibe biome. It's not obsidian, it's that um <clears throat> that dark stone. Oop, oop, oop. Dig that tunnel and quickly. I have found a I found a spider bomb. No, I actually am ri literally right next to a spider bomb. It's right here. Let's see if we can get the web slinger. Spiders can be quite dangerous though. Oh, we got the hairdresser. Nice. But these uh, sometimes they'll have a chest inside these biomes, and uh, it'll be web covered chest. Oh, I heard a spider, and he died. He found himself some lava. And he was like, I can swim in that. Nope, you can't. That one did too. Yeah, I'm just not lucky with the, uh, the finds when it comes to accessories and whatnot. Come on, you reach it. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna light this whole place up. You quit jumping in the lava, man. It's a lot healthier if you don't. Ooh. Amazon time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these spiders can do some massive damage, so you gotta be real careful with these dudes. They do like 40, if you have like iron armor or silver armor or whatnot, yeah, you'll be getting easy 40 damage every time they hit you. They are not nice. Then later on, they, when you hit hard mode, they become harder. I haven't seen his chest yet. At all. I usually always find a web slinger in here. But... This spider bomb has nothing in it. Except the hairdresser. Whoopity do. At least I saved a life. That's what counts. Oh, did that uh, silk kill you? Oh, sorry. Falling objects in this game is quite dangerous. Oh, always the webs. Oh, spider. There's a big mama slime. Mm-hmm. Big mama slime. She don't she don't put up with no no bull s. <laughs> Follow the tracks. Hopefully we'll find another building. Oh, heart leech potion. Nice. Comes in handy for later on. Especially in hard mode. Use that stuff to Oh really dude? You're gonna dive in there like Hey man. That looks like a wonderful place to swim. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. YOLO, right? Who is this? Bunny? What does this mean again? I can't remember what this means. It means the shop trader guy's around here. That's what it meant. It means that guy, the skelly bone guy. I can't remember his name. Mr. Bony Pants. Something, something. He's usually, when you see a bunny underground, means he's near. Oh, I can see a house. You see this pole? That means there's a house up here somewhere. Time to dig. Pretty soon we're going to go up top. We have a, a bone to pick with the big eyeball guy. I don't know where, where a skelly bone guy is. He could be anywhere over there. I think that's what it means. When you see a bunny underground, this deep, you know just any underground means that the uh, NPC guys here somewhere yeah this is like Doc Ock just a lot less tentacles <laughs> get up in there man oh yeah it better be something I'm not freaking the banner regeneration and 
the book. And that's, I think you'll find out on the surface anyways. We've gotten the same stuff over and over again. The boomerang. Come on. Cloud in a bottle. Uh, she spikes. Man. Did I already have she spikes? Yep. Officially, guys. Official. Trey hates me. Man, this loom is in the way. Get out of here. I don't want the loom. Quick stack. Man, it didn't clear up too much, but oh well. Man, what is up with my luck, dudes? Cloud in a bottle would be sweet. Hermes boots would be sweet too. I don't really need those like as much as a cloud in the bottle. Because cloud in the bottle can save you and you get an extra height on your jump. Is this a new uh, biome? Let's go back. Back, man, back. There we go. Go over. Put some light in this situation. Uh, another Shelly. A little too late, Shelly. A little too late. You didn't give me the rally early enough. Now you're just going to be forgotten. Now I got the Amazon, which is a lot better. Party time's over. I missed it, guys. What did I miss? Nothing. Hats and blooms. Yeah, I think that's a new mush uh, mushroom biome. Yeah. Could be heart containers. Or crystal hearts. Sorry. Keep calling them heart containers, but I've been playing... I've said this before. <clears throat> been playing a lot of Wind Waker off my, on my off times. I've only beaten two Zelda games in my entire life, and I've played pretty much every one ever made. I just never beat any of them because they're kind of difficult for me for some reason. Especially Skyward Sword. Man, that thing is hard to play. It's fun though. I like it. But the responsiveness of the Wii Remote whatever is not as good as it should be. It's like close but not quite there. Oh, yep. There's a heart container here. Or crystal. Go ahead and pick up all these blue mushrooms since they literally oh jeez oh jeez well that's that that's that's awesome guys I know you like hot tubs and whatnot but man that's a little a uh, little too much yeah this uh endeavor to look for cloud in a bottle slash Hermes boots or any other thing except the same thing over and over again has been not that great. Get out of there. You ain't gonna get me with that boulder trap. There's some demonite down here. Go ahead and pick it up. Give us a little extra even though it's useless to us now. Because molten armor is better than demonite. And I got the uh, Reaver Shark, which is better than Demonite. Because Reaver Shark. Haha. <laughs> what are we going to find down here? Nothing. I remember a long time ago when uh, Terraria was new and Golden Chest. There was no underground houses. When you found a golden chest, it was just, just there. You know, there was, was no houses or anything. You would just find random golden chest underground. Ah, oh, the old days. I don't need any more potions. I know later, on you, yeah, later on you have so many of those potions. It's crazy. Nope. Oh, I thought I was gonna make it. But nope. I've dived in so many, so many lava pits here so far. Best player in the world. Can hit every lava pit. Well, well, well. 
inventory fills up so fast. You know, I remember when they, um, what was it, they uh, had the smaller inventory too. Man, that was rough back then. <laughs> that was real rough. A looting exploration type game like this, you need a hefty, you know, inventory space. And back then it was so, they added what, two extra lines or whatever? Yeah, it was hard back then, guys. We had it rough, man. We had it rough. Is Cthulhu going to spawn himself? He's like, hey, uh, here I am. You can't kill me, huh? Yeah, let's loot all and take them well. Stand in the middle of your chest and quick start. Go crazy with the mouse button. You yeah. go back. Yeah, I got a piece of that gladiator breastplate. Three defense on chest piece compared to nine. Oh, I got another suspicious looking eye. Well, well. Time for Cthulhu time, since he won't spawn him, spawn himself. Let's see if I can take him out. Let's use this slow gun. Oh man. No. Did he take one damage from me? Yeah. <laughs> ah, the difficulty. Oh yeah, the Amazon's doing some work. And the, the imp guy. Yeah. Man, I'm not supposed to live on him. He's not a planet. This would be a good time for a young mama, you know, joke. Uh, your mama's so fat joke. Right? Wow. Was that riveting, guys? Was that ex exciting? It was so exciting. You yeah, have no idea. We, we barely made it. Barely made it. Okay, so... Equipment. Wow, this is getting, um... Full. This is equipment. Or ammo. Do I have an ammo chest? I better have an ammo chest. Yeah. Why did I put the arrows in there? What was I thinking? Let's get these arrows out of there. They don't belong. That's not really ammo. Oh. What is all this stuff? I have an ammo chest for ammo, and yet I'm putting ammo in the other chest. What is my deal, guys? What is my deal? I got two heart read potions. Heart read. I didn't even finish the word. Beautiful. Mana regeneration potion? Yeah. Some more seal. All that seal. I've been watching um, impressions lately. Like this one guy, um. He does, uh, like, Disney character ones. It's pretty funny. I think his name is Brian Hull. H U L L. Shout out. We does some pretty good impressions. He doesn't just do. I think he does mainly Disney characters, but he does other voices too. It's pretty neat. Seeds. Seeds. Oh, corruption seeds. Yeah. I think we're ready for, uh. Eater of Worlds. What do you guys think? Well, dang it, really? You're gonna do that to me? Neatness, man. Neatness. There we go. I have statues. Or oh, was I putting them in blocks? Blocks. Well, let's take the paintings out. Let's put these in. More paintings? Yeah. <clears throat> man, my voice is really messed up today. Try to talk? Nope. Not gonna allow it. Let's put this in dies. Beetle shell. And I was putting paintings in here. 
one thing I need to do before I do mess up and die somewhere is put my stuff up. Actually, loot all. I'm gonna put them in here. No, don't throw it away, man. Don't do that. That's not right. Teleportation function. Oh, those can be kind of fun, though. <laughs> Just teleport you randomly somewhere in the world. Where are you going to take me now? Wherever. Alright, let's go to the corruption. I think we're ready. We're going to make this a two boss fight uh, level or video level. Welcome to this level, guys. Haha. <laughs> Come on, Impy. Impy dude. I think I'm gonna play this off camera and try to find a cloud in a bottle. Maybe some Hermes boots. And whatever other accessories we can hopefully find. I don't want to bore you guys sitting in the ground for like hours on end looking for something that I probably won't find because it'll be exactly the same thing I found a hundred thousand times already. Because literally how many times have I found that book or the band of Re regeneration. I found two shoe spikes. I haven't found the climbing claws. I still want to dig under here because I think there might be a like a pyramid down here just buried. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I don't think there is though. Go to your lowest point. Nope. I never built the same gun. Maybe one of these days I'll build it. I knew it's always existed, just never made it. Dive, dive. Is this going to be up to dead end hole? That's my life. The dead end hole. Let's dig straight down. If this is Minecraft, that's a very bad idea. But this is not Minecraft. We can see what's underneath us. For the most part. Most deaths come from when you dig straight down is it a dark cave with no light in it whatsoever and then you don't see it and you fall through and splat. There's two hearts down here. There's one over there and one over here. I do still pick all these up because they are worth a lot of money. And you can make those uh, those heart lanterns, which was really handy later on in the game. And I know there's a shadow orb down here. I want to dig a tunnel into this area over here. Hope I get a vile thorn, a mystical vile thorn, not a godly, because that's not what you get on magical weapons. Oh, the dot dryad, you. Yeah. Almost didn't make that. The jump was so close. Don't dig straight down. So many of these soul dudes. Don't eat my soul, man. Don't. I need it. Haha. -ha. I just ate your soul. Haha. -ha. Cheesy talking. Woo best commentator ever whole YouTube explodes when this commentator talks everybody's like oh man uh, is this a good place to fight the old worm wormy worm the tapeworm of the planet <laughs> that's what it is it's not the eater of worlds it's the tapeworm of the planet we're actually playing on a big butt right now. That's a really gross thought. Now what are we going to get out of these shadow orbs? I know the next one we destroy will be the boss fight, so... But after that, though... We already got two... Of the guns. Musket. Alright, here we go, guys. Oh, I got a Vile Thorn. Nice. I like the Vile Thorn. 
Yeah, you're nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> I'm not even scared of you. Hit his head. If you have something like the fiery green sword, it, it's very easy. It's even very easy if you had the blade of grass. If you play this in expert mode, be careful when you he tries to hit you with his head, which is what he tries to do. He does like double the damage. Oh man, calm down. I'm playing. Wow, ping pong. I feel like a, a tennis match, and I'm the ball. And hey, you notice that if you destroy the middle of him instead of the head, he'll split into two separate worms. So be careful of that too. Well, there are those two bosses down, guys. Make sure to look around because some of the parts will fall like you destroy a part of it and it may be inside the ground. Star power. Sounds like an anime or something. Star power. But make sure to look underground because some of his bits will leave demonite and the scales underground. So I'm just searching about. Alright, how much demonite? I got 129 plus what I have in my chest. I got a keen vile thorn. Now I like this thing because it's a good farming tool that it'll shoot through walls and you can hit enemies on the other side of walls. So it's a good farming tool like if you have like build an area because enemies always spawn off screen like right here the enemies will spawn outside the, your view and they'll come into your, your screen. So if you build a room that's big enough like what I usually do is I build a room big enough that when I'm at the top you don't see the floor it's just out of view when it's just out of view the enemies will constantly spawn down there and you can just go down there and farm them with whatever weapon you have and I like using the vial form to go through walls and take stuff out it's very handy all right so we got 40 scales it's not a lot and star power the this one does increase the max mana by 20 so it gives you one extra star each star is 20 mana should we fight the worm again I don't think there's enough of those orbs here this will be the second orb. I need one more. <clears throat> and I know there's another corruption on the other side of my my house. And this one's I think closer. <clears throat> the other one's part of the snow biome which I haven't been inside of yet. So I know you can get ice skates and a the flurry boots which is similar to the Hermes boots. Another star power. What am I missing? The ball of hurt and the uh, light pet. That's the two things I'm missing. I like the light pet from the crimson. We always call it the red butt. The glowing butt. Because it looks like a butt. It's supposed to be a heart. It doesn't look like a heart. <laughs> Why do I got this glowing butt following me around? It's creeping me out. Bile shroom. Vile Shroom is not that different to a Magic Shroom. That's just the uh, the technical term for a Vile Shroom. It's called a Magic Shroom. Climb out, man. Drop that money on me. Make it rain. Yeah, there might be some orbs over there. Maybe. Some of these places they spawn all weird and it's not like fully open underground. So it's like blocked off in most places. I hope this is not leading to where I've already been. I don't think it is. Oh uh, well. That's a dead end. That's what it's leading to. Those are the best. kind of miss finding gold chests just by themselves. You like having houses and random chests. I think that'd be kind of cool. Just in a dead end too. If I can even see anything. It's black down here guys. It is so dark. Ooh. Yep. 
Well, that's where I just was. No, it isn't. Oh, there's uh, more shadow orbs. Sweet. There's probably more over here. So I think that's where I would destroy two of them and I stopped early on in my uh, let's play. Come on, man. Let's kill me another worm. Do it. Just do it. Demonite. I don't know if I even need to build anything with Demonite. I'm pretty overpowered right now. Yep, let's destroy this orb and we will be ready for another boss fight. We'll make a three boss for a fight video. Need some more of that. Shadow scales and whatnot. You know, I don't think I. Well, actually, I do need to make one thing out of demonite. It's the sword. The sword. You need the the sword from this, and you need uh, the blade of grass, the Moramasa, which comes from the dungeon, and a fiery great sword to make another weapon called the Knight's Edge. Come on now. I'm just bouncing all over the place, dude. I feel like a Batman, a Batman bird, or whatever it's called. I remember my mom and dad used to play Batman when I was like really young. They had their own net. The birds. Which is the thing you hit back and forth. The rackets look just like tennis rackets. Did I get his trophy? Nice. Sweet. I'm about to sneeze, guys. Woo. That's a strong sneeze, too. You know how it itches really, really bad? And it's like, nope, nope. You can wait until after I stop recording. Please. Alright. Let's head back to the home. To my box. The cardboard box. Let's put some stuff away. Ah, yes. One trophy. Let's put it right here. See, this looks like an eyeball. You would think this would be for Cthulhu. In the, in the uh, trophy for, should be like a, worm, like a worm shape something. I don't even know. I want to replace uh, the musket with the vile thorn. Even though it doesn't do a lot of damage, this thing is really handy. Only early on though. Alright, ores. Let's go ahead and take the demonite out. I got 332 plus 73 scales. Look at all that obsidian. So much. Put this musket away. Because, oh my god, I just got so many muskets, man. Nope, no more space. Do I have a. No. Do I have a goblin? My chests are uh, full, guys. It's pretty full. Well, you're going into the paintings until I get you sorted out. There's a goblin invasion to happen. That means I can get the goblin tinkerer. And after that happens, you can start mixing all your... Your accessories together. Uh, demonite. I can make a total of 99 plus more. Yay. Okay, what's the, um, I need the Light's Bane, that's definitely something I need. What's the name of that weapon? I don't need this stuff, it's 6, 7, and 6. This is 8, 9, and 8. I don't need this because, well, I got the Reaver Shark, which is 100 pickaxe power, and this is 65. So yeah, see how much of an upgrade that is? You can make the Flaming one. I think about making this, but I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to get the sitting ducks fishing pole, which for some reason I haven't had the traveling salesman come to my house yet, which is weird. 
not to make the malaise, but 19 compared to 27. And it's a godly team. We're going to make a hammer. 55 pa a hammer power, and this is 40. With 8 melee, this is 28, so it's a big boost in damage. Not very much of a boost on hammer power. Might just wait to get the, make the um, meteor ham axe or something. Do I have any more hellstone left? Well, yeah, I got a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Do I have any glass bottles? Now, that is a good question. Because I want to know if I have... Uh... What is my potion ingredient? Yeah. So, bottles. I'm going to fill one of these with water, and then I'm going to go to the guide and see what it takes to make gravitation potions. Because I can't remember. <clears throat> and all the water's underground. Yay. Hooray, hooray. There's a tiny little pool of it right there. Put a torch down there. Alright, let's make some water. Just need one to do recipe. Zombie, no. Well, I told him no. Well, I was trying to warn him. Didn't quite work. <laughs> Good one, man. All right. Let's talk to the guide. Where are you, dude? There you are. Mr. Asher. Right. Now, gravitation push. Is it even is something I can make right now? Uh, battle potion. Battle potion again. There it is. Gravitation potion costs fire blossoms, death weed, blink root, feathers. So you have to go to the floating islands first. Usually when I get uh, gravitation potions is that you go underground, you find underground houses and whatnot, and that's how I usually find them. It's in chests, randomly. Well, that sucks. I need the horseshoe, man. Let's make this last golden chest right here my project's chest right now. So this and blade of grass. If I can even find it. Where is my blade of grass? Um, guys? Do I have another project's chest? Oh, yes, there it is. Let's just put that at the very end. It'll be easier for me to remember. So I got three items of the four. Just need one more and I can make the uh, Knight's Edge. Which is like 50 something damage. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call that an episode. While I exit this, I will be catching fireflies. Riveting gameplay again. Well guys, uh, if you'd uh, like to join the Minicat family, hit that subscribe button. And if you like my commentating, you find it helpful or funny or, or just enjoyable outright, hit that like button. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And keep it real, guys, and never give up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.